Hello and welcome to today's preview video. We are talking about Block by Block, the third edition. So first off, thank you to Out of Order Games for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in Block by Block, I will leave links to the Game Found campaign down below. And also, if you like the cinematic spin that I put on board game videos, please take two seconds to subscribe down below. And with that, let's get started. So Block by Block is a cooperative or semi-cooperative game where you will be taking on one out of four factions. Each of them have a unique ability. You have the Orange Prisoners faction who excel at attacking. The Yellow faction workers have more flexibility in building. The Green Neighbors excel at defense. And the Purple Students are great at mobility. You'll be fighting against the police, building barricades, occupying different districts, looting different shopping centers, building mutual aid networks, and overall the goal is to liberate the city before time runs out and the military arrives. So here is how your turn works. We're gonna start off in the nighttime phase. And the first thing you're gonna do is draw one of these police ops cards. And it depends on the cards that you draw, it depends on what your police morale is. So right now, it is on the brutal phase. So that one means you're gonna be drawing two police ops cards. And these pretty much are going to be very, very bad events that happen throughout the game. So for example, this card is light reinforcements, which means I'm gonna add plus one to police morale. And now it's gonna go from brutal to deadly, which means on the next player's turn, they're gonna be drawing three of these event cards. And then from there, it also says all police vans deploy one police squad. So we have a staging area where you add, uh, add more police and these white cubes symbolize the police faction. So for each district that has a police van, I'm gonna be adding in one of these white cubes all around the districts. And the third one is right here. Now on the opposite end, if you want to defeat the police morale, what you have to do instead is to defeat police vans. You're going to build occupations and then you're also going to liberate districts. These are three different ways that you can drop down the police morale. Now after the police move, you're gonna to check to see what the Metro says. And here right now it says currently the Metro is on lockdown, which means out of all the factions, they cannot use the Metro to be traveling between different tiles. If you see an M on one Metro tile, you can actually travel from one Metro point to another Metro point. Okay, so you have your police ops cards, you're checking the Metro, and then on your turn, you have a few categories of actions. We'll start off first with the basic actions. So first off, if you are not in the clash, which means you are not engaged currently with the police, you can then take a movement action. You can move your blocks any distance using any combination of streets, highways, and metro stations ending in a different district. There's no limit on the distance or number of blocks you can move with one action. So movement is gonna allow you to reposition yourself in order for you to help out different factions, your other teammates, and to also liberate the city. But a second very, very important part to movement is actually part of your winning condition. So the point is to liberate the city. One way to do that is to actually draw a condition card. So here you can send your blocks to meetings, and that's important because at sunrise, which is the next phase, every faction is gonna check the meeting attendance. If the number of blocks on the deck is greater than or equal to the number of face-up conditions, then that meeting is successful, so then you can draw another condition card. If all factions have their conditions token on a condition card, then they win the game. So all of that was for movement. We can move between different districts, and we can also move our blocks onto meetings in order for us to draw another condition card, ultimately completing one of the end game conditions. The second basic action is to barricade. So barricades are gonna temporarily stop police squads and police vans from moving into different districts. Now we move on to the advanced actions. The first one is to loot. So when you're looting, you can place a token on a burn side and draw one of these loot cards. Now loot cards will tell you when you can use them and also give you beneficial effects during that phase. Now you'll also notice that these tokens have a graffiti side. Now this is important because they're gonna help out with your mutual aid centers. And we're gonna talk about that right now. So the other action aside from looting in the advanced action category is to also build. With the police faction getting stronger every turn, you also have ways that you as a faction can get stronger as well by building different occupations. So here's how that works. You have three different types of occupations. You have your faction start where at the start of your turn before rolling action dice, you can actually form one block in that district. You have your assembly hall, which is going to form more blocks later on. Now this one's gonna let you draw one loot card per graffiti on and adjacent to that particular district. So depending on how many blocks that we have on the map currently, it's gonna allow us to roll more and more action dice. And those action dice are gonna allow us to take different actions from movement to building different occupations. Now, a couple other things to note. So at the start of our turn, we're rolling action dice, we are taking movement actions, we're building different occupations, and one of the last actions to talk about is to, of course, be in a clash. So in order for you to defeat one police squad, you're gonna take one of your action dice, make sure it's at an equal to or higher number than the number in the middle, which is the district number, and then that police squad gets kicked out into the staging area. Now you can also attack a police van, but these are much harder to defeat. On the first attack, they're gonna be flipped over to the side, on the second attack, they're gonna be flipped completely over. And on the third attack, they're going to be defeated completely. When you defeat a police van, it drops the police morale as well. So we are drawing police ops cards depending on the police morale. We're gonna be taking our turns depending on what dice uh, that we're rolling. And then we're gonna be moving, defeating different police squads and building different occupations. And then from there, 
The next person goes, draw another set of police ops cards, and then they take their turns as well. After everyone takes their turn, we're gonna move on to the sunrise phase. Now here, police vans are gonna be repaired, police vans then attack, and then police squads will attack as well. Vans are really strong because they will defeat all blocks and evict any occupation that is in its current district. Police squads will always prioritize attacking blocks first and then occupations. Now after police squads attack, they stay in that district. Now after police vans are repaired, after the vans attack, and after police squads attack, then police vans are going to move as well. After the police take all their actions, now we check to see if a city is liberated. So this is kind of like a chain effect where the district has to be adjacent to another district that's already liberated. Public districts are always gonna be the very first one that are gonna be liberated in every game. These are the pink districts. And for a district to be liberated, the combined total number of blocks from all factions in the district has to at least be double of that district's difficulty. There also has to be no police squads or vans in that district. So after you check all those conditions, you're gonna be taking off all the components off that tile, flipping it over to the other side. And you'll notice here how this is a colored side. And then you can pick up one of these liberated cards. It's gonna tell you what decisions to choose. And depending on which one you choose, it gives you a different resolution on the back of the card. Every choice that you make is going to be a beneficial outcome. And if everyone has met a condition, then you win the game. So that is a preview for Block by Block, the third edition. If you're interested in this game, again, check the links down below. And with that, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you all in the next video.